will take a leap of their own into marriage. The city of Akron is hosting seven happy couples that will tie the knot this afternoon at the Akron Art Museum. We spoke with one of those couples and for more on that we turn to Austin Love who is live in Akron with an extra day of February. We sent him down to Akron. Absolutely. Good morning, buddy. Why not an extra day in the year, an extra day of fun, an extra day of friendship, and a perfect day to take the leap into marriage? Why not? That's what seven couples are going to be doing. But you know, Dave, I, I was thinking, I was like, this is such a life hack. I mean, this guy, he, they're getting married, and then you only have to celebrate it every four years. That means only four uh, anniversary presents. I mean, you're saving money left and right. I mean, big brain ideas all over the place. D absolutely genius. But yeah, that's what's going to be taking place here. Yeah, seven couples are going to be taking the leap together into marriage here at Akron today and we spoke with one of those couples via zoom yesterday they are ron gold and shayla freeman and they met about a year and a half ago and have been engaged now for about a year ron saw back in 2020 that akron was hosting leap day weddings at the time and thought it was a really fun idea next thing he knows he meets shayla they get engaged and book the unique date here in akron but it might be a life hack to get married on leap day but ron ai he's looking at it a little different um i like the uniqueness of it um, and everybody that we've told, well, when I tell people, it's usually some husbands say, oh, you only have to celebrate every four years. But then I go the other direction and say, no, we're going to do it on the 28th and the first every other year. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Ron's just making all the guys look bad out here. But how about that? What, what a sweetheart. I'll tell you what. All right, so, hey, the weddings are going to be taking place here at the Akron Art Museum. Akron Judge Ron Cable will be doing all of the services. They start at 1 o'clock and go till 2.30. And, and the wives out there, if you want a little pre-wedding anxiety, Shayla says that she has no idea what she's going to wear. We talked to her yesterday. She doesn't know what she's going to wear yet. So uh, we'll, we'll be interested to see what it's going to be. Our cameras are going to be uh, there to be able to capture the moment. Mm -hmm. Certainly a unique idea, and I always wondered if you had a birthday on February 10th, 29th when you celebrated, so this kind of answers that. I mean, you can celebrate on both days, Austin. It makes a lot of sense. It's, or you just celebrate all year round. Why not? Yeah, that's true. That's what you do. I know. You're always celebrating. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Thanks, buddy. We'll see short, you later. Pal. Ah, good all point. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Another guy that celebrates all year long, Matt Wentz. Oh, yeah. What are we celebrating? I don't know. Just I just had nothing. It's too early to get creative on the toss. <laughs> it was so creative. I just did it was that, good. You know, TV oh, thing. Good times. Uh, there you go. Hey,